been a good bye week and I appreciate the, the way the kids have approached it and it's been fun getting on the field. We, uh, yesterday was our first practice, so Monday, Tuesday, they're lifting and focus on school and practice uh, yesterday, today, and then tomorrow we'll have a little something in the morning and then the guys will get the weekend, but they've been good and the focus has been kind of taking what we can learn from those first five games and, and how we can get better, where we can get better individually, position groups, unit groups, and then uh, work on that. And it's been, uh, love their approach. What, what specifically do you think some of the lessons they learned from just the last game against Michigan in particular? Well, I think that, uh, I don't know if they, like, how many new lessons as much as reinforcing some of those things. And, and I think one that comes up when, when you play against a good team, you know, whether it's on a play or in a whole game, you know, the margin for error is less. And, and, you know, we all strive to play that perfect game, but you never will. And, you know, I think there's opportunities when you have a chance to make plays. You have, If you want to win the game, you've got to make more than them of those plays. And, and I think that if you look at each individual, um, you know, there's things that they can do to get better. And they're all, because they're all different individuals, it's all a little bit different scale or a different point of emphasis but I think that you know each game I guess Jeff brings up new circumstances but at the same time a lot of them are things that have come up before and 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 so you just you know like if you want to just talk big picture how you play a game how you win a game you know you've got to do well on third down you've got to you know whether it stops or getting them you know it's when you have opportunities to for plays, you got to make them, and so it's uh, you know the game's kind of pure that way. There's a, uh, a proposal by the NCAA to add a tenth assistant coach. How do you think that would uh, help you guys and your players? I I would be in favor of it, and I think that uh, the one thing that I agree with, which is in the legislation or, or the reasoning behind it, is you know of all the sports we've got the coach to player ratio and we have the most players for the number of coaches and and uh, I think you know one of the big reasons we get into coaching is, is how, how can you impact guys and I think you can impact them you got to be around them you got to get to know them and I think it would be a it would be good for kids players I think it would be good for the profession uh, I'd be all in favor of it. The same thing in terms of the early signing period June and then December. Are you in favor of that? I am. June signing period. Mm -hmm. Why? I think it'd be good for us. You know, I think that there's some kids that that you know enough about them, they know enough about the university that they're ready to make that decision, and therefore they should be able to sign like other sports. You, you know, and then there's some kids that you want to find out more. Maybe senior year. They're, they're not sure. Maybe they've narrowed it down, or maybe there's, you know, academically they've got to do a little bit more. And, and so that's, I'm in favor of a early opportunity to sign and obviously keeping the signing date as well. Paul, well, I think there's a perception that when you coach at Ohio State, you should be able to recruit a lot of talented players and win there at a high level. But if you look at Urban's numbers since he got there, what does that tell you about what the job they've been able to accomplish? Oh, and there's no doubt they've done a great job there. And, uh, and I think, you know, certainly, you know, they have good players, yeah. but those good players have to be well coached. I think, you know, and, and to be able to win and consistently, I think that means there's a lot more than just they're recruiting the right guys. You know, I think it's, um, they've got it, they've got one, they've got a program established. You know what I mean? The, 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 and the, the developing kids and, um, Ton of, ton of respect for what they, you know, Urban and his staff, and those players have done. Your secondary's played really well so far. What has stood out to you about uh, Jim Leonard's ability to teach those guys in his first year here? Well, I've, I mean, Jim's. I've always been impressed with who he is as a person, and um, you know, getting to coach with him day in and day out. You know, I love the the way he coaches. I think he gives them things that are tangible that they can. Uh, truly take you know he's not trying to impress them with his knowledge he's trying to 
figure out ways he can help them. And, uh, you know, they're a group that wants to be coached. He's a good coach, and I think that lends itself to a good recipe where guys can get better. Well, you've got more than 120 guys on this team. Some of them had stable family backgrounds. Not all of them did. I kind of like Dakota, I feel like Dakota Dixon. I don't know how much you know about his background, mm -hmm. but are you surprised that he's arrived at where he is? Because I mean, his life easily could have right. gone off in another direction. You know, I don't know if I would choose to comment whether I'm surprised or not surprised, but I am impressed, okay. right? And 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 I've been lucky to be doing this and the number of kids that you meet and it, it's encouraging and it's done just happen. There's, you know, everyone goes through things and how you choose to take those experiences and move forward ways you're said and done. Like I get that, but I've, he's a guy that every time you just keep learning from him and you, uh, you're impressed by him and you, uh, there's times when you, know, when you wanna be more like guys like that. Do you add to the playbook on bye week or do you just kinda focus on what you already implemented and kinda what you guys are already doing? That would team? be a trade secret that we do not wanna <laughs> divulge right now. Do you know if you have many kids whose families are affected by the hurricane down there? Cause you got, I think 11 kids from Florida. Do you know of anybody who's having to uh, I haven't heard many talk about it. Actually, didn't know there was a hurricane, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't good. <laughs> uh, Vince Beagle surgery went well, and everything's okay. Doctor said it went well. Yeah. Most time, doctors say that. <laughs> Most. But you know he's feeling good, and uh, you, you know I me mean, as far as yeah. where the swelling's at and, and all that. So um, we're putting our faith that it went well. A lot of talk this week about uh, Derek Tindall's hit on a Michigan offensive lineman where he got injured. Uh, some of the Michigan players calling it dirty. But did, did you did you think Derek did everything he was supposed to and, and taught to do on that play? Is there anything different he could have done? Yeah, there was nothing illegal about that play. And uh, I think in the in the right to or the the right intention of making the game safe, you know, they've taken out the the ability for the offensive lineman to cut in that instance, Derek. And um, we talked about that before the season with the head of officials. And so there was nothing illegal, nothing dirty about that. The circumstances, the, the end result, nobody wants to see, you know? And, uh, but, but there was nothing dirty or illegal about what Derek did. Is there anything different that he could have done? Uh, he, he, was, he played that play clean. There is when you win, you know, and when you play well. It's a, uh, I think Camp Randall's a pretty special place, atmosphere, and and um, certainly have been fortunate to be a part of some big games that have, you know, we've played well and won, um, you know, really good moments. And so um, you know, we're looking forward to the next opportunity. It doesn't matter if it's a night game or a day game, right? But it's, uh, yeah, it's a cool, I was in, I think, one of the first night games here and it's uh it's pretty cool are you comfortable going, using both punters going forward since it, it appeared that they both gave you a little something different in that michigan game yeah okay do you have any hope at all that beagle or jamerson could play next week a lot of hope i don't know what hope does hope <laughs> is not a method any concern about Derek's surgery being severe or when, when you knew about it was it like did you know going in that it was, it was fairly minor that's what I was told 